unrest in the Dakotas. Dispatch equal numbers of giant battle robots to all sides. Whoever survives, claim we backed them all along. Illegal immigration. Let the new guys pilot the giant battle robots. Criticism that your domestic policy is too giant battle robot based. They can take it up with my new press secretary, the Mametron 9000. If that's the guys from Air Force One, tell them they get the keys back once they say the magic word. Quiet, Max. It's the commissioner. Total collapse of the economy and downfall of Western civilization? Great grinning head of John the Baptist and a pork pie hat stuffed in a rhinestone bowling bag. We're on our way. We've got a computer crisis to take care of, little buddy. Have they tried turning it off and back on again? Bigger than that, Max. Computers everywhere are going haywire. Planes are falling from the sky. Nuclear reactors are nearing meltdown. And scores of pasty white nerds will be forced to go outdoors and socialize with normal people. The horror. Where do we start, Sam? The National Consortium of Smart People who are good with computers has been tracking electron surges all over the country. And one of the biggest is right here in our neighborhood. What an unbelievably convenient coincidence. How do we find an electron surge? No idea. Let's go. Mr. President, this is Margie, your scheduling assistant with some changes for this week. You still have impeachment hearings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but the one on Wednesday has been pushed back for your war crimes trial. Thanks. Hello again, Mr. President. Just a reminder that you're still scheduled to visit middle schools this week to remind kids of the importance of staying in school. As usual, we'll have therapists on hand after your speech to talk with the more traumatized children. One more thing, Mr. President. Your opponents have finally decided to cancel their weekly election ballot recounts. According to your calendar, that should free up the hour and a half each week you have marked as time to gloat. Even if he was just a puppet, Max, don't you think it's unsettling to keep the head of the former president inside our closet? You're right, Sam. We need to get a pipe. Hey, Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend watchman for hire. Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight or flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty half elf ranger. Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Half elf, and I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. What does this internet do, Hickey, have to do with being an elf? Half elf! It's because everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar, like a dwarf or an orc, or a hot young 15-year-old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf, fool! Ah, never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack. 
Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. We want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land! Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Do you have any dual-core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Do you have any chimpanzee-sized diapers? Nay! Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay! Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. Do you have any self-respect? Nay! Ha <laughs> ha! Tricked you! No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. You sure do know how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. What have you got? Oh, not much. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right! Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam! But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer is going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it! What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's pretty inconvenient. Thank you. On second thought, nothing for us now. As thy wish! But don't blame me when you're stuck in the torched wasteland with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself! See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Sire! Don't touch my binoculars! Well, if it isn't our favorite ethically challenged rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Sam was wondering where you'd scampered off to. I'm touched. I was wondering what embarrassing pose we'd use when we had you stuffed and mounted. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared out of my wits. You's gonna buy something or what? Freelance police, Mr. Teeth. You're under arrest. Come along quietly and we'll only use excessive force instead of medieval. Just try it, pigs. Last time I checked, it was a free country. I'm working on that. Enough games, Jimmy. You're under arrest. I know my rights. New federal mandate for armament appropriation. And I quote, No citizen shall be prevented from setting up shop without a license and in someone else's store to sell dangerous weapons indiscriminately to the highest bidder. Who in his right mind would pass such an irresponsible law? I couldn't help it, Sam. The gun lobby has these unbelievable gift baskets. What have you been up to, Jimmy? You know, the usual knitting, working on my tan. What do you think I've been up to? Starting a business ain't easy. The Better Business Bureau is going to be hearing about that attitude of yours, mister. Get bored lounging in the White House pond? Who was lounging, smart guy? I was networking. Turns out DC's a great place to get tips on being an arms broker. Maybe it was a bad idea to move the Oval Office back here, Sam. Are you still running with the skin bodies? I found I no longer agreed with their extremist view. More like you got a little chilly. Or got tired of seeing your repulsive pink flesh every morning. Let's just say I left for a variety of reasons. It's not too late to make an honest rat out of yourself, Jimmy. Or a bookend, or a doorstop. People want weapons, I sell them weapons. What could be more honest? What's a two-bit crook like you trying to sell this time? I'll ignore that petty insult for the sake of a successful transaction. I'm selling the latest in interpersonal defense. You're an arms dealer? You make it sound so cheap. I deal in peace of mind. What have you got in stock? Yeah, right now I only got this cannon. You guys look like you should just start out with handguns. We've already got handguns. Oh yeah? Where? Just trust him on that one. 
How much for that cannon? It's not for sale. Worst arms dealer ever. It's not for sale to you guys. I don't sell to the police. Call it my own ethical code. But we're just barely police. Yeah, I seen how you guys work. I sell it to you, and next thing I know, the bunny's got it pointed right at me. Sell us the cannon, Jimmy. I already told you. It's not for sale. See you later, Jimmy. Maybe if you can find me. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, pigs! Ooh. I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here. Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. Hey, Sybil, have you? I'm surrounded. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Stand back, Max. It sounds like Sybil's finally cracked. It's about time. Her relative stability was making the rest of the neighborhood look bad. Back, pit demons! With Sword of Righteous Fire, I cast thee away! This is just like that time we were hired as motivational speakers for that Sunday school. Actually, now that I look closely, it's more like our last case. And the three before that. If there's one thing I've learned to recognize recently, it's a hypnotic device. And those weird glasses are it. Launch stinging BBs of unholy smiting. To break her out of the trance, we'll have to deliver a blow to her head. You know, Sam, when you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. Back, demons! Cast ward of pungent unsavoriness. I can't shoot, Sybil. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is he coming on to us? Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look! You broke them! And I haven't even paid off the deposit! Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. It's a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? No, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars! We're all the police this neighborhood needs! And then some. 
Not police. It's an acronym for, well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it. These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not so bad. As long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys ever actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. I was perfectly fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday, isn't it? You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's an addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and, oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, and that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. <laughs>